Pokemon fans are obsessed with Sword and Shield's latest edition, Wooloo. Grab your Pokeballs because a whole new generation of pocket monsters are almost here. On Wednesday, fresh details about the upcoming Pokemon games Sword and Shield were dropped during a Nintendo Direct, where fans learn new features, new mechanics, and of course, new Pokemon. However, it's one specific monster joining the lineup that has fans losing their collective minds, the sheep Pokemon Wooloo. Even though fans were introduced to seven new Pokemon joining the roster of Sword and Shield, Wooloo is causing the internet to eat itself over its overwhelming cuteness. So what is this new creature and why are fans already obsessed with it? As we said before, Wooloo is a normal sheep-type Pokemon, which, to be quite frank, makes it sound like it's just a sheep. It's from the new region, Galar, and its abilities are described as fluffy slash runaway. The description goes into deeper detail, adding they dislike conflict, and if they need to escape from enemies, they will simply roll away. Which, to be quite frank again, is something we all do whenever we're presented with conflict. Steven, is that script ready? Hey, Aaron, did you get that paperwork done? Hey, Nate, did you forget my coffee? Of course, fans have already fallen hard for this cute little sheepy boy and have taken to social media to shout out their love. The fan art alone is bananas. Look at that sheep. The bushy tail, the big teeth, the hooves. Okay, the producers are telling me this isn't a sheep at all. It's a Pokemon. But look at what fans did. You can see details in the ponytails. Of course, it wasn't just drawings. Many fans went into protective mode for the fluffy Pokemon with at try Hunter 2 saying, Wooloo is my child and I will protect it. So it's simple to say that if anything happens to Wooloo, fans will riot. But we think that JM speaks for all of us when he wrote, between Sobble and Wooloo, Pokemon Sword and Shield is turning into the most relatable generation of Pokemon yet. If you don't know, Sobble is the water type starting Pokemon who cries a lot and makes everyone around them cry as well. So yeah. Very relatable. Now, the cute little ball of fluff and braids wasn't the only Pokemon revealed on Wednesday. During the Nintendo Direct, they also announced new details about six other Pokemon, most notably the two legendary Pokemon the game is based around. Each legendary Pokemon is a wolf creature. One has a sword in its mouth, and the other has a shield-like looking mane. Fans were also quick to jump on these new legendaries with memes and tweets, with generally positive reactions. However, it wasn't just about the new Pokemon. We also learned about the new Dynamax feature where Pokemon can grow to gigantic proportions to face off against enemy Pokemon. To use this ability, trainers must acquire the Dynamax Band, and the feature can only be used once per battle and will only last three turns. But we finally live in a world where a kaiju-sized Raichu can shoot electricity at a tiny Rattata until it passes out. However, it is worth noting that this feature seems to be limited to certain areas in the Galar region, namely arenas and raid zones, which brings us to our next change. The other huge change to the Pokemon world is the introduction of online raids. We saw this first being utilized in Pokemon Go, but now it has crossed over into an official core Pokemon game. Trainers can have up to three friends join them against a Dynamaxed Pokemon that will be determined by some real life factors like if it's raining or sunny outside. At the end of the battle, each trainer has the chance to catch the Dynamaxed character and add it to their collection. So there you have it. Along with all these new online raids, giant-sized Pokemon, and of course, the love spreading for Wooloo, it's hard not to see fans jumping on board with Sword and Shield when the games drop November 15th. But what do you folks think? Is Wooloo the cutest Pokemon ever created? Why are fans on board for him but hate Poplio? And which game are you going to get? Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, or wait until they release the third installment, Pokemon Crossbow? Let's discuss. Thanks for watching! Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new show or video. And if that wasn't enough about giant creatures for you, check out the latest Nerdist Presents, which follows a group of surfers as they try to surf a giant wave created by Godzilla. You can watch it right now!